patients, which we have coming up later on with Cottage Farms, um, are in full bloom. Here is something that reflects your personality, that curbside that's fun, the piece that your grandkids will remember when they grow up and say, remember the cool bike that Nana and Granddad had in the backyard? We turn to Plow and Hearth, who specialize in home and lifestyle products and have been for years to create this adorable bicycle spinner steak, brand new this season. The value on this is terrific because even if you went to the plowandhearth.com website, a comparable one would be close to $50. Ours today is $27.48. And you're going to choose either the blue mm -hmm. or the red. Use your cue card. That way you can have three easy pays. And if you don't have a cue card, you know if you apply and get approved in the month of April, you get an extra $10 That's um, great. credit that you could use mm -hmm. in the future. So that works if you've been holding out for that cue card. This beautiful woman standing next to me is a very dear friend, Nancy Grandmuller. She brings us all kinds of decor items. Um, and she specializes in plow and hearth. So always mm -hmm. good to have you here. I was excited Thank you for when having I saw me, Pat. that we were always part of our show to be today. Here. Oh, you know, these are such a darling little spinner. So if someone okay. likes the plow and hearth spinners and wants to add to their collection, or they have, you know, maybe a smaller space and want something that's a little bit, you know, smaller to be able to put in a potted plant or maybe in a small flower bed, these are a great way to do that. So you're getting your choice of your blue or your red, and they are this beautiful, shiny kind of gloss yeah, really glossy. painting. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I'm going to stop these. These are the, the wheels. These are the parts that spin, and you can see all those beautiful colors, the red, the green, the blue, and the yellow, and their little wheels spin in the wind. And then they have these darling little baskets that are on them here. And you know what? You actually could, if you wanted to pop a little tiny potted plant in there, maybe oh, you have some cute. sedum yeah, that yeah. you want to have in there, little tiny mm -hmm. pentas. Oh, I love you that idea. You can have those just kind of in there as well. But they're absolutely darling, and they spin so well like plow and hearth spinners usually do. And that would be, I mean, obviously there's no wind inside. We're right, in so our we're... faux outside <laughs> spot because <laughs> right. I'm not sure that the sun is up. Um, might be, though, I think it's 7-12. But uh, we decided it's safer to stay inside. And the nice thing about this is then the, the, the wind will take over, really making it come mm -hmm. to life. And that's the fun thing. Let me tell you what you're going to get. I'm going to move out of the way so you can see it better. As I said, the value is saving you $23. We just introduced this particular bike this year. It's 48 inches tall. Yes. All metal construction, mm -hmm. created to stay outside. Yes. Do I have to put anything together? It's very simple to put together. You've got the stakes down here. They're just a couple of pieces. And then there's extra prongs that are on there as well. Okay. So you have a total of three prongs and the center uh, piece. And then, you know, you just put your bike up on top. And, it, you know, your biggest decision is really where you're going to put it. That's mm -hmm. going to kind of take your most time because you want to make sure that these are going to get exposure to wind. But the other thing I love about these is these kind of like float above your flowers. So you, when you were talking about the sun patients, I love that. I got those last year. Love Love, 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 got them again this year. And that's the kind of thing that you're going to put this in, maybe in a pot with your son patients kind of down below, and then your bicycle spinning up on top and, you know, giving you that kind of midway decoration. It's not super, super tall, right. but I love that it's got some height to it. So you're going to have that kind of vertical appeal to it above some of your blooming flowers. And, you know, maybe this is nostalgia. Maybe this yes. reminds you of growing up, right? When we grew yes. up, Nancy, I mean, it was riding your bike. That's oh. What all you day did, long, yes. You know, after school, and you did all summer long. And I love the idea of putting succulents in the basket or a tiny mm -hmm. little flower in the basket if you want to. You could always get um, cocoa and yes. put a liner and create your own little basket in the sure. back. Um, that would be so darling. But these are the things... And I bet we could all name things that we remember growing up from an aunt's house that we went to, mm -hmm. our mom had out in the backyard. It's just fun and it comes to life when the wind works with those spinning wheels. And there's no commitment to this. I mean, right. you know, if you put it someplace and there's not enough wind, you move it somewhere else. Exactly, that's what's really great about these is you just are able to place them wherever you would like in your garden. And I love that you brought up that it brings back those memories. You know, I grew up with bicycles, you know, and going right. up and down my street all day long. And what I used to do was my dog, Peppy, loved to ride <laughs> in the basket. Uh -huh. So this little basket right here reminds really? me when I was young, he loved it and his ears, you know, uh -huh. blowing in the wind. He 
looks kind of like Toto. Oh, how and cute, And so I put him in the basket here, and you know, uh -huh. he would just go for the ride all around the neighborhood. So when I see this, that reminds me of when I was young and that freedom of being on my bike yes. and you know, going all over the place and Peppy riding in the front, uh -huh. you know. So cute. Um, and you know, it just kind of brings you back to those those simpler yep. times, you know, and kind of reminds nostalgic. you maybe of hometown or maybe you went on vacation, you know, to the beach and you rented bicycles right. and the whole family went together, you know, riding really the bikes. Fun. Yeah, it's just a great, great way to have some fun, something beautiful by Plow and Hearth who makes great spinners, great outdoor items. And the quality always with Plow and exactly. Hearth. And we're going to see that because Nancy promised to come back in the yeah. 8 o'clock hour. She's going to have one of my favorites and I know hers Love and them. yours, yes. which is under $20. Here's the other thing I want you to know that we have coming up in less than 10 minutes. Our buddy Philip Watson has promised yesterday. He said he'd come back and think pink with sun patience so you could get your bike now and put them, you know, sort of as your thriller on top of your sun patience because they're definitely Definitely fillers and spillers if you're talking pot. That was pot like pot, planting Flowers. pot language. Okay. <laughs> Wanted to make sure we knew what we were talking about. <laughs> Gabrielle, what are you doing over there? <laughs> I'm listening to music with my Beats by Dre in ear headphones. But what's cool about these, they're wireless. So you pop them in your ear, you use your phone, your smartphone to connect. Uh, via Bluetooth, so 